did you get home all right? Like, where yeah. are you? You know, and he's not answering. And I'm like, what is he doing there? Why the fuck am I not there? Like, what's happening? Mm-hmm. And then um, he uh, it comes back and there he is holding hands with his now ex-wife, Millie Cordae. Mm-hmm. Or- hey, 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 all you favorite fanatics, you. What's up? Are y'all done watching the Cat Williams interview yet? Cause we're here with some new juicy information for y'all. So listen guys and girls, Shauna Mokler just finished spilling all the beans on the Dumb Blonde podcast revelations and yep, it's out there with details and all how Travis and Kim Kardashian wanted to sleep together and texted back and forth about it with the actual word F-U-C-K. They were trying to meet up at her sister's house to you know, I felt like such a failure with Oscar. I wanted this relationship to work. And, you know, we did get married and we had a successful TV show. And, you know, and I was so in love with him. Of course, Shauna's gonna be upset. And of course, she still is gonna talk about it. He's disgusting. Talking to another woman like that when having a baby with you. My family's broken because of this family. And now my kids and I are alienated from each other because of another sister in the family. So we all know Travis is real colors, no doubt about it. Kim Kardashian is a huge part of Shauna's and Travis's breakup, so I hope she's proud of herself for being a homewrecker. But hey, let's not put it all on her now, cause he chose to do what he chose to do. On Wednesday, Shauna talked about it all on the Dumb Blonde podcast. She said that she and Travis were trying to fix things in their relationship when an anonymous source sent her all the texts between Kim and Travis. The text included details of how they were arranging to meet at Kim's sister's house to F-U-C-K, okay? Just nasty. Shauna, of course, showed them to Travis and what did he do? He deleted them in front of her saying, no, nah, no, nah, I, I don't see any text. It's, it's nothing here. Text messages and he deleted them. And so I don't, uh, said, I don't see anything. Like, man, this guy is evil. Yuck. Shauna then called Kim, who said that she doesn't like white guys. No, you just like to sleep with them. Whatever. According to Shauna, Kim and Travis met when Kim was shooting for Travis's clothing brand. And that's the way the cookie crumbles, etc. Yeah, you know. Shauna and Travis got married in 2004 and had their son Landon in 2003 and daughter Alabama in 2005. In 2006, they wanted to separate but still had an on and off again relationship for another two years. But because of Travis's and Kim's they never recovered. I don't know why she stayed with him for so long, but yeah. Travis said that nothing ever happened and that they only went to lunch and dinner. Ha! Huh. Why would they go and have meals together and he would risk like wanting her and she him? We know that they had mutual friends and whatever, but anyway. And as you know, Travis is now married to Courtney since May 2022. And like, just stay tuned on this video because we're about to hit you with some shady Travis business that makes us sure he's gonna cheat on Courtney if he hasn't already when things get boring because they will. We're sure that Travis really likes and loves Courtney. It shows. He thinks she's hot and whatever, but that doesn't say anything about him being faithful forever. No, no, no. This type of guy that Travis is can really love you and then also go and sleep with someone else. That's Travis and we know why. You know that Shauna caught Travis in bed with Lindsay Lohan? Y'all know Lindsay, right? It says a lot. And Shauna still stayed with him after that as after Kim. Wow. Why do women do this to themselves? Shauna also says that after Kim told her on the phone that she doesn't like white guys, Shauna responded that Kim would F-U-C-K anyone to be famous. Shauna says she felt so stupid after that, probably because she still stayed with him. And y'all, I know it's hard. They had kids together and it's heartbreaking because you can't just get up and leave. So we're not even going to talk about that. Even after she caught him with Lindsay Lohan, she said they found their ways back to each other and that he was living the rock star life. Like that's an excuse for him to actually sleep with other women. No, and don't say she would have known it would be like that when she married a rock star. No, no man or woman has the right to treat their partner like that. No matter who you are or what job description you have, okay? So, Courtney, if he hasn't changed and he gets bored, because he will get bored, life comes in the way even when you have the luxurious life with money. It doesn't matter. He will cheat and will probably never find out because both of you are already old and won't leave each other anyway. So, it won't come out, probably. Shauna says in the podcast that she was so in love with Travis and wanted her kids to see mommy and daddy in love and it was her dream. It didn't work out and the sad thing is she's been through this more times and the first time wasn't with Travis. Shauna began dating Oscar De La Hoya in 1997 and she has a thing for 
gentlemen that drink a lot because Oscar also drank, like Travis. But the boxer was also a very fun person, according to Shauna. She got pregnant with their daughter, Atiana, after just six months. And Shauna was 25 when Oscar was 50 years old. But Oscar cheated on Shauna after she gave birth to their daughter. And when Atiana was almost two years old, Oscar went to the Latin Grammy Awards in Los Angeles with Mille Corriger. I don't even know how to say her name. But he went with her and she was his ex-wife. And he didn't tell Shauna that he was going with her. So this woman was Oscar's ex-wife. And Shauna just had a baby with him two years prior and was home seeing him on TV holding hands with his ex on the Grammy Awards. The next day a lawyer came to knock on the door and said Shauna and the baby needed to move out. Like hold up, what? He never called her again and had his assistant tell her they're done. Like really disgusting appalling behavior from a coward. He then saw his daughter again the first time when she was 16. Oh, and y'all know that Landon and Alabama took to social media that they haven't had any contact with their mom back in 2021? Yeah, that all began when Kourtney Kardashian entered their lives. Hmm, weird, right? But we're not gonna bash Kourt. She's the only real human being in the Kardashian family with an actual heart and soul. No, the real problem is Travis. She also spoke about the plane crash Travis was in where four people died and Travis got third degree burns on 65% of his body. Shauna tried at that time to connect him with his kids hoping it would make him feel better and when she opened the computer she saw a bunch of emails from other women. Of course, he's a cheater. And that was not the bad thing for her. The really sad thing were the emails where Travis was just bashing Shauna real bad, saying Shauna was a really bad mother. She also talks about how Travis put an end to the show Meet the Barkers when he saw that the show started to be more about them as a couple, which was what Shauna wanted, and not so much him as a musician, which was what he wanted. So a bit ego also, all up in himself. That's what it takes, I guess, to be a rock star, but that makes these people really cold and hard to be around at times. Shauna also says she and Paris Hilton had a verbal dispute at Hyde nightclub after Shauna and Travis first separated because Shauna thought Travis was sleeping with Paris. After that argument, Travis went to Paris, and y'all know Paris and Kim were friends and hanging out at that time, so Shauna thinks he spent time with Kim at Paris's house. Despite all this, Shauna still helped him get sober, and Travis still had to go on tour, party, and be a rock star and cool with all the women around etc while having a family so they struggled a lot Shauna did at least if you agree with us or have another point of view on this whole mess and think that court maybe is gonna get hurt in the future or not please let us know in the comments below and we'll see you in the next video